Hello, wandering souls. Ooh, music timed out really nicely for that. Hello, hello. Hope you're all having a fantastic evening. I am always a soulless husk. And I decided just to have some of the Factorio background music play. Oh, it's Pappy. Not again. Oh, no. Not again. Let's see. No. No, no, no. It's so bad. It's not bad. It sounds great. What are you talking about? It sounds lovely. And now for some reason I can't hear. I can't hear the game. Let's see if I can change that. was bad past tense it is fantastic now see you folks might be able to hear it but why can't i do i have a screw loose or something mm -hmm.
Let's see, let's move it all the way over. Hello. That should sound good. I can't hear the game. Very strange. Music has a lovely techno sound. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice. I simply cannot hear the game. <laughs> it has refused. Oh, I see what it did. <laughs> I see what it did. It decided to take audio away from me exclusively. There we go. So hello, everyone. Once again, I'm your Solus Husk. I am the Solus Husk. That is what I am. Welcome. For a slightly different series, we've got ourselves a Solus Survival. So what we're going to be doing today, plain and simple, we're going to be playing some Factorio. We're going to give it our best shot for a little bit. Get my fingies wet with the controls once more. And we are going to attempt a death world. Because apparently people love watching me get punished on this channel. So this is my life now. So, uh, <laughs> I... I can offer a single gun in defense, but I think it's better if I just leave the severed arms underneath the table for now. But, uh, yeah. For those who are unfamiliar fac with Factorio, the briefest description is... You play a video game. Everything you think you can do in a video game. Move, shoot, build things. All of that. Any conceivable thing you can think of. You can automate it. You can automate all of it. You can automate the game. You turn a game that is a action and strategy game into cookie clicker in a matter of hours. <laughs> if you're successful, you don't have to lift a finger. Uh, we're going to lift many fingers when we actually get to play the Death World scenario. So if you're looking at the lovely background, uh, you'll notice that uh, there are tons of little aliens. You need a can of beans to represent survival. <laughs> I should. I'll, I'll, I'll find myself a delicious can of legumes to put next to me at one point. But we're going to start off by just playing Factorio as is. It's been a while since I've touched the game, so I think it'd be nice for a little refresher. Get you wandering souls used to the game. I'm going to do the tutorial and then we're just going to play the game. Uh, I would love for all the wandering souls who are alive here in chat to give me suggestions on things you think I should do. Uh, when I actually get to the Death World segment, I have an idea of what I can try, but if you have a suggestion, it will override literally anything else I'm going to do. I will take your suggestion at face value, live or die. It's a joint effort. You and I are on this journey together. The Wandering Souls are here to help me with my soulless survival. Before everything burns down and I burn down with it. So please save me. I'm cold and sick and hungry. Can you be attacked by creatures in this game? You can. Now here's the thing. Primarily the biters, uh, the, the main offense of this game, these little uh, aliens that run around and bite things, uh, they do not harm you. As long as you leave them alone, they won't attack you unless unless you create pollution from any one of your various different machineries. It emits some kind of, uh, you know, excess that uh, most of the creatures find very not so good. So they want to stop that pollution creating substance, which is usually your base and then eventually you. <laughs> Get yourself a forward or safe space. We're going to try. We're going to see how far we get uh, to get materials. As you can see in this picture in the background, we got to start small and then we're going to build our way up. So enough talking, messing around. Let's let's get into the content, although I am going to immediately redact that statement. Stop and let folks know that uh, since today is solo survival on Friday, we are going to be having 
our uh, typical, uh, what do you call it, uh, Road to Elden Ring, more Dark Souls this Friday. Uh, I'm going to be cutting down on streams soon, so it's probably going to be Fridays for the near future, but I'd love to see how well this stream and next Factorio stream the following Tuesday does. So if you really do like uh, today or this series, feel free to put a comment on your favorite parts of today and or tomorrow when, I mean, or next Tuesday when it comes rolling around for Soul Survival. I also wanted to make note that on July 5th, so the day after the American Independence Day, uh, we're going to be having a watch along. It's going to be, uh, I believe, everything, everywhere, all at once. We're going to be watching a movie together. So if you've heard of that movie uh, and you haven't seen it and you're interested, feel free to stop by the channel, watch it along with me. I will not be streaming the movie, unfortunately, just my reaction and <laughs> my own uh, personal thoughts as the movie goes along. So if you're interested in watching a movie with a buddy, you will wa can watch it with me uh, come July 5th. Uh, just purchase uh, your own digital copy to watch alongside with me or get a copy. Otherwise, uh, I don't even know if it's out on physical. I don't know how many people still buy physical copies of movies these days. But yes, um, I do have a link in the actual live stream preview. So if you go to my channel and look for that particular watch along, I do have a link to the YouTube link to allow you to rent it on YouTube itself. So if you're interested in watching along, you can use that link to buy the movie. Uh, I don't know how many hours long it is, but it should be enough for a, a nice stream. Uh, it'll be a very different piece of content that I'm used to making. So I, I will continue to do more if it goes well. Uh, last things, I guess, is just uh, because I'm cutting down on streams, there's going to be a little bit more uh, curated content. Uh, a, a bit more Let's Plays that are not live. Uh, however, it will be very much s in a similar vein to what you're seeing right now. Just cut down a tiny bit. Take take away some of the other ums, ahs, and pauses I typically have while live. So, look forward to that. Uh, I will be publishing another short tomorrow. I published two this week. If you haven't gone around to check it out, please, please do. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any thoughts on it, good or bad, feel free to leave it in the comments. Same for this stream as well. If you liked this stream, please give it a thumbs up. And if there's things in, about it that you like, please give me a comment on that. It helps me out greatly. I've been rambling for a while. Before we pop in, once again, to all those watching on the archive on the VOD, thank you for showing up. Hope you have a good time. We're going to get started with a little tutorial. Let's get back in the groove of things. So this is Factorio. That this is this is it. This escape pod saved my life. I'm afraid the others were not so lucky. Okay. You can always find the current objective in this window. Okay. Here's my escape pod. I wonder if I could use something from the escape pod. Okay, press left mouse to open. Okay. Let's take the iron gears out, put it in my inventory, and close it. Great, I have gears. There's nothing else here. I'll have to make simple tools myself. You will. Looks like iron ore around here. Close to the iron ore, hover over the cursor. There we go. When you hover over an entity, useful information appears in tooltip here. So you can see on the top right, we got ourselves iron ore. All right, let's start mining. Welcome to Minecraft, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Minecraft. I've got five iron ore. Woohoo! If only I could smelt that iron somehow. Well, let's make a furnace. Uh, right hand side of crafting menu, left clicking on the recipe. Craft. Yep. I need stone. All right. 
So by taking about five stone, I can go ahead and make myself a furnace. Uh, yep, crafting queue. So I handmade that one. I can take the stone furnace, place it on the ground. Ta-da! That was a piece of cake! Oven stone furnace with left mouse button. Yep, we'll do that in a second. Just gonna grab some coal. Place iron ore in there, and then I can place some of the coal in there. I could also use uh, wood. Anything that really burns can be placed in most furnaces. And that will create iron plates. I feel quite tired from all this mining. I wonder if it can be automated. I love how it's not like, oh, I should go to bed. No, I wonder if it can be automated. <laughs> yes, yes, it can be. Uh, I'm turning on the little icon so I can see what's in these things. Uh, I need stone for a new driller. Do, do, do. Going for a drilling time. I'm gonna get a driller. But a mining drill. There it is. Uh, where does it want me to put it? Oh, it wants me to put it on a quick bar. It's fine. Uh, over a deposit, just a deposit. So we're gonna put it over here. And put some of the wood in here. There we go. It's working! It's working! <laughs> uh, the mining drill drops mined resources in front of it. Yes, it does. Stand over it with F. Grab more stuff. Uh, can I make a box already? Yeah, build something to collect things from the mining drill. Yep, make a wooden chest. Boom. One step out of the game every time. Every time! But boom. Now it goes in a box. How amazing is that? Great, I learned something today. Wait until at least four items are in the wooden chest. Well, I gotta do other things in the meantime. Take all items from the wooden chest. There we go. Ooh, next level. All right. <laughs> well, this is a dilapidated factory if I've ever seen one. An abandoned mining site. I wonder what the robotic arm is for. The machine has ran out of fuel. Yep, that's a fuel inserter, I believe. Open the, oh, it's a burner inserter. Let me grab some of this. Put something in the burner inserter. Uh, yep. Inserters have directions and most objects typically do. Yep, 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 yep. Take all items from the iron chest, yep. Maybe this can be of some use. Okay. Sounded like footsteps. When enemies are close, you can fire them by holding spacebar. So we're going to see a lot of these coming up soon. Uh, enemies. So you can hold down spacebar and it will fire at the nearest thing. If you have a shotgun, it just goes ham, regardless if there's enemies nearby. It's a good way to, like, blast through trees and rocks, but... <laughs> If you have, like, pistols or, like, automatic weapons, you just hold down space, it'll auto-target everything for you. Um, but I'm pretty sure if you have a shotgun, it just starts unloading in a direction. <laughs> yeah, this not, it's not a place where people should live. It's assumed you crash land on this planet, so... There we go. Better get production going. Yes, you should, my man. Burner inserter is reversed, yep. Uh, da, there we go. Uh, R to rotate building before it's placed. Yep, yep, yep. Want to generate electricity, but first need some basic resources. You do. Uh, I need four burner drills and five stone furnaces. Okay, I can do that. Uh, let's put this in here. Let's put this in here. Let's put this in here. I can make this incredibly efficient, but I'm... I don't know if I should. No, I will. <laughs> We're gonna do it this way. There we go. Now we're cooking.
And then this is going to go straight here. We're going to do it that way. And then this is going to go straight in here. So now I'm automating where the coal goes. And this is always going to feed into itself, which means that these will automatically drill and fuel themselves at the same time. So that'll be useful. I can just grab that. And then I need a bunch of stone. So let's make a drill first. So do regular stone. Do, 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 do. Gonna get a lot of stone. Boom! Need one of these. I should have my first burner mining drill. Do this for me. You should. And ba-boom! Like a miracle of science, everything is automated. Everything is automated! So now I can do this, and I can just grab myself stone as I need stone. Grab more of this, put more of this in here. Grab more of this. Make myself another drill. Grab more of this from here and here. Take the second drill, put it here, and fuel it. So I have more production of stone. Look at that. Oh, this is going great. Okay, so I've got one furnace. It wants me to make more mining drills, which is fine. We can do that. All right. I'm going to move all of these drills in a pattern so that they all go into a box. What is it? I don't want all of it. I mean, like half. There we go. Now we got mad stone production. So I need two more. Two more, one more. Uh, let's get another one of these. Okay. Uh, this will be fine. Eight. Then nine. There we go. Put that here and put that here and done. Yes. And one of these. And I need three more. Uh, let's see. I'd prefer if I didn't have to use burner inserters, but I can make burner inserters if you want game. Come on. Give me better tech. I know what it wants me to do, but I don't want to do it. If I connect it all correctly, I should be able to get the resource need for electric power soon. Yeah, you should, in theory. But you're giving me burner inserters, which are like the worst possible inserters. Like, I need to get more conveyor belts. And more burner inserters. There we go. Dun, 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 and dun. Another burner inserter. There we go. Right here. So these are working fine. This is working overtime. Oh, it wants copper plates. Okay, well, we can do that. We can do that. I don't need any of this. I don't need any of this, and I don't need any of this. I just need copper. This is fine. So, put these guys here. All right. So, Wandering Souls, how you feeling? Is it making sense? Is the brain turning to jelly? Do you understand what's going on? This is copper. You put the copper... And the driller, the driller, carries the copper. 
the copper gets to the base and the base makes your stuff. All right, let's put this here, here, here. We only really need one. And then these guys. Yep, 31. Very good. And this will just make copper. It'd be nice and easy. All right. See, I hate these burner inserters for early game because they lose fuel themselves. And then all these drillers lose fuel. Like it's, it's a mess. But it's something you gotta start with because meh. Makes sense for what you've seen of it. You had to feed screaming cats. Eh, it happens. Uh, let's make one more burner inserter. Let's see if I can give it a little bit of coal, a little bit of juice. And then this actually just needs one of these. <laughs> Easy enough. There we go. So now I'm getting a lot of iron plates. I can run right here. Boom. Grab all those copper plates. And then I can grab all this coal. It'll be slow going for the first little bit of it, but it's all making sense. There we go. Grab these. How am I looking? Almost there. I'm looking at the top left. And it's like, oh, you need 150 iron plates before you can proceed to the next tutorial. All right, so I've got 112, 30, and uh, 39. Shouldn't be long now. Uh, can I? Yeah, just kind of throw those in there, please. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. All right. Grab the copper. Oh, I need nine more copper. Come on. You're the little stone furnace that could maybe... Okay, five more on that. I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. Don't you go anywhere. Uh, okay, I have enough iron plates. I have almost enough copper. Come on. Yeah! And now I just need a bunch of coal. Just a bunch of coal. Uh, one more. Yay! That was some hard work. I have everything you need. I need now. Well, okay, it's time to move on. Thanks, game. All right. Oh, it's about to show me electricity. We use some equipment from our crashed ship first need to locate it. If I had enough electricity, I could build a radar to locate the crash site. Okay, so let's build a radar. I have electricity set up, test set up almost ready. Just need some water from the lake. Yep, so I need a pump. So electricity is normally done through these burners, these boilers. They boil steam into these little steam engines. Resources. Indeed. Okay, I need an offshore pump. Give me that offshore pump action. Offshore pump action. Uh, offshore pump action. Uh, this, this looks good. We'll do that. And then I need some, some pipes. Some amazing pipes. There we go. And now, and you put some fuel in the burner. Ba-bum. What I should do is this. I don't like this setup. I'm going to get rid of it. So what I want to do is I want this to self-feed into my coal production. 
so that it always creates electricity. I need wood. So I can use this electric inserter into here. It boils the water, goes into here, and is powered by this. So it it's it's like infinite energy, but not really. There we go. So this little electric drill. You must construct additional pylons. So this is all self-powering. Let's get to work. You got destructed. There was a bunny in your backyard. Oh, boy. Gather resources, build radar. Yep, yep, yep. So now it's just like, you know what? You think you're so cool at video games? Just build your own factory. What are you waiting for? And I'm like, all right. Bet. Let's build a factory. Uh, what do I need for radar? Uh, radar is... Okay. As long as I don't spend too much copper, I just need all of this uh, iron. So what I can do is this. I can put this here. And then, oh, I see what I can do. So let's move this down slightly, or move it up slightly, sorry. And instead of doing this, I'm going to make it move directly this way, up, oop, up and over. And now, the coal will come out here, which I can use for my boilers. Now, oh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, it's, it's, it's happening. I'm, I'm already, I'm already husking out, even in the tutorial. All right, let's move this boiler over here. There we go. Biters eating through my boilers. I'm trying to explain something. The water and souls, dang it. So you'll notice the coal is on one side of the conveyor belt. There's actually a trick you can do to make it go to the other side. Which kind of relies on how these things are placed. So you can do this and then move it down one. And then oop, it's the other way. You move it down here. So I want it to be on the other side of the conveyor. So I put one adjacent, move this up and then it goes like this. And then I can move down, down and like this. See that now? It's on the other side of the conveyor belt. It's a little convoluted. I, I'd understand if you have no idea what I'm talking about, but it'll work. You just have to trust me on that. Uh, so what I want to do actually is put this like this and then move all of these guys like this. Get these here. And then move these here. And this all goes in a lovely bucket. And then just grab some poles, electrify the whole thing, bing bada boom, we done. You will prioritize bunnies over everything. Or you will prioritize bunnies over me. Oh, yeah, why? Am I not cute like a bunny? Maybe not. I am a soulless husk. This is something I just have to live with. Uh, let's see. This is all looking good so far. Boom, and connected to the wires, and boom. Okay. This is looking good. I do need copper now, though. <laughs> I've, I have effectively wasted all of my copper. I hope that's copper. That is stone. Oh, no. <laughs> Copper! Oh no, there's biters. Oh, I, I've messed up. Oh, there's copper. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I need copper ore. How many do I need? I need 7.5. Okay, I need just a little bit. This pistol won't be enough to hold them. You should make a submachine. I should make a submachine gun. I should. Let's make a submachine gun. But first, let's get all this copper going. You must construct additional submachine guns. Ah, no! Stop! What you're doing is wrong! 
Oh gosh. Uh, can I make repair packs? I can't. Game? Game, give me repair packs. All right. Yeah, you could. So first you're asking to make, make guns. Then you're asking to make different guns. Like you need to choose which guns you want <laughs> and I will make it. It's already asking me to automate things because it's like, oh, I'm running out of this thing and I'm running out of this thing. All right, let's let's just get more copper while all of that is building. No reason for me to do it manually, but it's clean, it's fast. We'll do it this way for now. Don't worry, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this together. The biters will not overcome us. We have the power, we have the means, we have the technology. But we will in a minute. <laughs> we just need to build a little bit more technology and then we'll be fine. Um, it wants me to automate it, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think we need to. We just need to get up to building a radar. There we go. That's one radar ready, but I want... I want the gun first. There we go. Nice, nice. There we go. So now I have the submachine gun, which I can shoot very fast, which I can't show you unless they attack me. But trust me, it's fast. Uh, let's see. I need more plates. Tell us about your life while you're automating. Well, I crash landed on this planet without health care, which means if this is the United States, I am 100% boned. I will be in the bone zone very soon. One thing I can do is I can bring the fight to the biters and see if I win. Come at me, you beasts! Ah! And then I can take out your hive. Ah. <laughs> oh no, I don't nearly have enough. Yeah, so I'm just kind of stuck here. Contemplating about life. Where it all went wrong. All right. This should be good enough so I can go ahead and start siphoning some coal. Mine. My coal. Nobody messes with the coal lord. All right. Uh, conveyor belts should be good enough for here. Uh, I think I'm going to do like an extraction and do it this way because I don't have splitters. I'm going to do it that way for now. Okay. That way I can reduce the number of belts over here like this. There we go. And that way I can do this. And that way I can do this. I really don't need more than that. <laughs> Um, and then I need one, two, three, four, a few more inserters. And that's going to be this along with this. Actually, I should probably put it all in the same box. It's not a bad idea. And there we go. Uh, one more. And there we go. And bing bada boom, it's done. Now all I have to do is just hook this bad boy up. Like so. And now we got copper automation. As simple as that. Uh, I could use faster... 
iron production, so let's do that. So you'll notice I'm able to build things a lot quicker once I actually have the infrastructure to grab raw resources and build it by hand. Eventually, the game gets to a point where, aside from just building it by hand, you can then build infrastructure at a glance and be like, oh, I want to build a whole thing that builds bullets. Let me just take out a blueprint, slap them, slap them down and be done with it. All right. Uh, this should be a little faster now that I got more iron coming in. Ooh, quick on the reflexes. Oh, the Solus Husk, he's amazing. You didn't even see that, did you? It just it just happened so fast. OK, one of these radars are done, so I need two more radars. I just need to survive long enough until the radars are built. And nearly all of my furnaces are running at full capacity, so I'm not really bottlenecked. I can continue to expand if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep saving until I have 25 plates. There we go. You'll notice even this arm doesn't have enough speed taking all these plates. That's my second radar. Yep. What radars actually do is I can go on the map and you see how it's all pixelated. If I zoom in, you'll notice that it's still pixelated, but anything in a radar range, I can see in detail what's going on. So I can tell the fighters are starting to prepare for an attack. So I need to be careful. Oh, that's right. They do consume a lot of electricity. Shoot. Uh, let's use this. They're mounting an attack, but they're not there yet. I need to be careful. Tensions rise. Oh, they're starting to venture down. All right, here we go. I've got my last radar. Enemies might attack your radars. You might want to protect them with gun turrets. Yeah, gun turrets. Uh, yep. I need a lot more copper. I mean, a lot more iron plates. Oh, I have to wait until it's scanned 50 sectors. Oh, great. Oh, great. This thing's at capacity. Oh, it needs more. Uh, gun turret. There you are. I'm going to put you here. I'm going to put all of my bullets in there. We're just going to make some bullets. We're going to keep shoving them in. Boom. That'll protect us for a hot minute. Oh, gosh. Pressure's on. Okay. I need to build more electricity. So I need to get more for the steam engine. I need 31. I got 15. More of this, please. 21. 22. Uh, everything's moving slow because I don't have enough energy. Ah! Come on, man. Come on, man. We're almost there. Oh, there we go. Okay, another steam engine. And then I just need to see if we're inputting enough steam into the engine. Yeah, go gun turret. It's got a decent range, as you can tell. Okay, and then I need to connect this with the pole. There we go. Okay, all of the radars are going at max capacity. Uh, we are just under the effective steam production, which is okay. We're going to be fine for now. Oh boy, we're going to be fine for now, I think. I think you should start expanding the mythos of the cat. You're welcome to. So far, it's just a cat that I've happened to stumble across while I was at my work. I heard cats for a living. 
That's that's my desk job. I heard cats. Except my boss was rather surprised when I was talking about actual cats. Um, not sure why. He said that that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my desk job. You're going to be herding cats, he said. And so this is what I did. So I found a cat, herded it. This is my, uh, my cat that I've borrowed the soul of for now. I'm basically running on fumes here. So, uh, if you happen to be watching this, uh, stream, either live or in the VOD, and you're not subscribed, please do so. It helps me get enough soul power to be able to survive in this harsh and cruel world. Okay, still good with power output. Yeah, no, it, it needs, like, all of the radars. Which is going to need another boiler, which is going to need another... Another one of these suckers. I need 31. 21. Which means I'm going to need another turret in a second. Oh, gosh. 31... Give me that. There we go. Let's get myself another boiler going. The gun turrets are working a dream. All right, so I need to get you. You just hear him sounding off in the background. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. Nobody panic. Panic is the enemy. Uh... Okay, and then I need just a little bit more pipage. Oh, I'm short one pipe. Gah. Come back. I need a pipe. I need a pipe. Good. Uh, and then I need another inserter. Uh, throw that in. There we go. Perfect. Now with this, should have just enough power to make everything operational. There we go. Sector scan looking great. And everything's being defended by a single turret. Eh. Let's do a little automation. I think we have we have a little bit of time to do some automation. So this is an assembly machine. What this allows us to do is we can do things like I want to get more firearm magazines, but firearm magazines, I don't want to have to build them. So you just put metal in here and it makes it for you. So I don't have to build anything. I just have them. And you like that bake overnight. Put some more in here. And grab more when I need it. Which is an oversimplification of what this game does, but... That is the quick and dirty way to get that done. Let's get another radar going. I could automate the radar production. I can automate gun turret production. And turret placement production. <laughs> Although the placement is always the hardest part. So let's see. So I think it's just trying to scan these last bits here. And then we're done. Also, you can already start automatic walking by just simply standing on conveyor belts. Whee! When do we get to the ride? This is the ride! Whee! <laughs> uh oh Oh! Oh! Enough of you! None of you! None of you! None of you! None of you! 
That's quick make a gun turret, put it here. They went around this turret. I didn't like that. All right. So that concludes this part of the tutorial, which is nice. Next level. Ooh. So this is a more complete base, as you can tell. Sector scan complete. Distress beacon. Okay. So this is a decent base setup. It's not great, but it's good. Source must be over 200 clock. Oh, I think it needs me to build a car, right? Going on foot would take too long. Yep. So you'll notice here that it's got a whole system for creating gears. And conveyor belts, which is kind of ideal. And copper is like next to useless half the time, so that just goes in a box. Now this. Oh. This needs to be fixed. Uh, all of this needs to be fixed. There we go. I want to fix all these boilers. They make me sad. I want to get them fixed. I need stone. Do we got stone production already here? We do. They're making bricks. Heck yeah. Give me some stone. All right. Uh, One boiler is fine. And then one, two, three, four, five, and then a couple pipes. Okay. I just feel bad for all this broken machinery. So much potential. And then this goes here. Boop. And then this goes here. Boop. 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 Uh, and then this needed water, so I need a pump. And then a set of these. Uh, give me this. There we go. So much electricity. Oh, look at the electricity. All right, it wants me to build a lab now. So everything you're seeing in the game, much of it needs to be built through the tech trees. So you have to unlock it by using labs, and the labs need science packs. So half the game is automating to a certain science pack. So here's building a lab. Need one of these. I think I'm just going to place them here. Yep. Need science packs. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Science packs are needed. All right. And I need to start research. We're going to research some walls. So to get the science packs, I need to figure out what they are. And for the red science packs, the starter one are copper uh, plates and iron gear wheels, which is pretty simple. So what am I going to grab? I grab a few of these. Let's just make two. And then I'm going to grab from the two of this. Uh... Then this is going to go here, here, and then all the way down, like so, here, here, and here. Uh, I don't quite know which direction it's going to go, so we're just going to go like this, boop, and this, boop. Okay, so I see a problem, and I see a solution. So we're going to make this go up, let's go over, let's go down, and spaghetti it all around. We're going to make these into red science packs, like so. And then I need to... I need to move these down here. 
I need to put this whole system down here. I don't like doing that. All right. Cool. And this is going to go right here. These are, whoop. It's gonna go right here. Science Lab's gonna go here. Bing, bada, boom, and done. And with that, I can start making science. And you can actually daisy chain these guys. So you can have ones connected to each other, or you can have a thing like this and like this. That does this. Boom. All right, so that's moving and grooving. It'll take a minute, but I think we'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? All right. Yay, stone walls are done. Nice. Uh, I need to get to this. So I need steel processing next. So I'm going to check the map. And there is big scary here and big scary here, but they're all going to come from above. So I'm going to build a great wall of screw you to get them away from me. How's it only made that many? Come on, make more. I guess it can only hold so many for some reason. Meh, that's fine. That's fine, that's cool and all. Oh, it's like, oh, you you have uh, automation for for your bullets. I can help with that. No, I don't have automation for my gun. Uh, not quite enough. Uh, more of these, please. They're doing well. How's steel processing going? Ooh, we are not doing so hot on the iron run. I don't know why. Oh, we're we're low on production. That's good to know. Let's do that. Throw a couple of these here. One here, one here, we're done. There we go. Now we should be having an influx of uh, iron ore. Look at that. All right. You get plenty to keep making more and more gears. I'm actually going to take this out. I'm just going to have it build up. Because some of these guys are going to be fine. Eventually, it's going to pile up so high that it's going to have constant production. Maybe they don't like pollution. Yeah, they don't like pollution. Not at all. Okay, good. We got all of the factories 
producing science packs at a decent rate. This is good. Now, what I can do is I can take one of my... Oh, thank you. Uh, what else do I need to get to car? I need green logistics. Which means I need to get to the next types of science packs. Come on. These are just not going fast enough. I think I just need to make more things to make science packs. Because they are just, it is too slow. It is way too slow. Uh, I need automation. I need automation. All right. Oh, I also need copper. <laughs> I need a lot of copper. All right. Let's make a few of these. And let's reset our strategy. Now, this is a thing that I do a lot in Factorio, where I just refactor the whole thing and think about how we can, how can we make this work? And the answer is usually, don't even try. Not worth the time and effort. But right now it is going to be worth the time and effort because we need to be making some pretty quick science packs. Uh, so I'm thinking this is science pack central for red. So we're going to put that end of line here and then here and here. This is all going to be red science pack. I don't remember the shortcut to make all of that work, but there you go. And then whatever blue science pack is going to be is going to be equal opposite. I don't know what green science pack is. I forget. I used to know it by heart, but I just do not any longer. Boom. And then this is going to go down here. Boom. That's all I need. So you watch them all go at once. And I will blind them with my power of science. Also, I need to start making uh, steel. That is important. I love the music in Factorio, man. I first backed Factorio uh, like years ago, way before it was like 1.0. Back when it was just. This little impressive game, it's lightweight, by the way, so like most systems can run it. Look at that. It's not quite enough to meet the speed we're looking for, but that's okay. Need to get that green science pack, 75, 76%. It's working, it's working. But yeah, I, I backed it a while back 
I want to be back to I just bought it a while back and I was so bad at this game when I started it's like really bad I was just so frustrated I'm like what am I doing wrong and a lot of it was really simple actually which I appreciated like the solution was far simpler than I realized for a lot of how this gameplay works it's all going back to like the basics of how much can you make by hand? How much can you make uh, automated? Should you automate certain things? <laughs> it may not always be necessary. Ooh, logistics. Now this is pod racing. Yeah, exactly. Like it became this point where it all just kind of clicked, which was great. Because you kind of need to understand inputs and outputs of all of these items. The, the belts just get you from point A to point B. They are not, like, critical to understanding how things work. It's like, okay, this goes into here, which comes from here and here. That's it. That's all you need to know. The rest is, like, how do I spaghetti this all the way to make it work? 42... Now, logistics actually has some of my favorite upgrades because it has like uh, like splitters for your uh, belts and stuff, which is really awesome. Um, um, um. What else does it have? Oh, it has underground. Uh, underground conveyor belts, which is super fun. So you start weaving them in and out. Alright. Let's make this even faster. There we go. Ooh, logistics done. Good. How much do I need for a car? I need engine and I need logistics too. Uh, engine's faster. Let's get this first so I can start building out engine. Now it's asking for science pack two, which right now I cannot make. And what I mean cannot, it means I have not. <laughs> so let's make green science pack. So that's transporter belt and inserters. Okay. So to make it in, I already have the these uh, conveyor belts. So let's start by siphoning the conveyor belt from here over. Okay, and then move this over here, move this over here. You can worry about efficiency later on that. Okay. And then this will go here, all the way down to here. And then you just go boom, bada boom, boom, and then you make one more. So now that I'm making one of these, what do I need? I need iron plate gear and electric circuit. Ew, I don't want to do that. Every science pack is more annoying than the last. All right. So I need to, I already have gears, so I can siphon gears. I can siphon the gears off. Uh, but I need to change how I'm doing this to siphon the gears. I need to build one of these. Oh gosh, yeah, I gotta do a lot of stuff. Jiminy Christmas, this is gonna be a mess. 
So I need this to be like this. There we go. And now this is going to go right here. And I need it to go under, so I'm going to use one of these kinds of belts. So it goes underneath. And I need it to, yep. Okay, this is not splitting the way I want it to, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna get that fixed momentarily. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get that fixed. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay. So then I need to make it switch sides again. My gosh. Okay. Uh, how do I, how am I going to make it switch sides? So it needs to go on this side. Nice. Okay. That way I can do this. There we go. Okay. Now from here, oh, actually, I don't need to do any of this. Oh my gosh, I don't have to do any of this. Work smarter, not harder, Husk. Oh my goodness gracious. Here we go. Okay. You ready for this? This is going to be insane. Okay. This, this is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Because I need plates and I need here. Let me show you. I need plates and I need gears. So iron plate, iron gear, electronic circuit. I already have iron plate right here. I have gears and copper plates because I need copper. Right here, iron plate, copper cable. So if I just take these two make the thing and then make it go up here, I'm done. Does that make sense? You, you guys follow along with this building process? I need you to be foreman for this. Need to make sure that Hus doesn't fall in a hole while trying to make this stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, this looks fine. We're going to do it this way. I'm going to make a few of these. Actually, I'm probably just going to make one. No, I'll make two. I'll make two just in case. So it needs to go in here, in here, and then they need to go out here and out here. Um, or the other way. Make it make it even simpler. So I have more space. So that this. There we go. And now. It will actually place it on the other side of the of this thing. <laughs> and to disruptionarianism. I, I appreciate your trying. OK. So I need to make this means I need to make this happen first. Doom, doom. I need to make electronic circuits. Electronic circuits need, oh gosh, this is why I don't like green. Electronic circuits need their own copper coils. There's copper cables. Okay. So, oh, I'm almost out of map space. Oh no, the forbidden void. <laughs> Deep breaths, husk, breathe. The void doesn't know you're here. The void can't hurt you. It doesn't know you're here. Okay. 
So that makes that. And this needs uh, the iron plates, which I can get from up here. So I'm going to have to split this. Make some of this go here. Yeah, there's a map edge for the tutorial, at least. Did I mention that? There's a map edge. Yeah, there's a map edge. Uh, okay. I need an input and an output. Oh, gosh. Oh, my brain's frying. Ah! We have void at home. <laughs> yes, we do have void at home. Oh, gosh. Uh, so... I need it also to feed into here. Okay. I need both. Okay, I can make this work. Because then I can do this... Okay, we can do this, make it pop out here, pop out here. Uh, do this, I guess. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is a mess. Okay, we're going to do this here, 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 and here. Are you making green stuff? You are. Okay. Okay, this is too far away. That's your problem. Yeah, it's too far away. Okay. Well, that's okay. I can fix that. Because that works, which means I can do this. Move this down, go over here, move this up here and over here. There we go. Now we're cooking. So now this needs gears, plates, and the green. Uh, I can get... I can get a lot of these together. Bonk, 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 bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Uh, do I have long insert? Oh, I got long hand inserters. This is good. This is good. Uh, ooh, but I got to remove the copper. Oh, oh, how am I going to remove the copper from this one? Gosh, ah, shakies, ah, uh, shakies, shakies. That would do it. Hey, that would do it. How about that? All right, and then I just throw in one of these. Okay, well, they're going in the wrong side, which I can fix. I think. <laughs> I think. Uh, oh, gosh. Come on. Come on, brain. Work with me, brain. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know that sound. Oh, no. They're going through the turrets. I'm out of bullets. Get out of here. Uh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that just lasted long enough. Oh, my gosh. The biters are getting worse. Oh, gosh, I can't repair anything. 
I'm running out of time. Oh no, come on, man. You gotta hang on. I believe, I believe that we can get to green signs back and make this stupid engine. All right. Okay. Uh. That's not what I want. <laughs> that's not what I want. Um. Shoot. This is what I need to do. No, not like that. Ugh. I needed to go to the other side. There we go. Now it's fine. Okay. Now, long arm inserter. Okay. Long arm inserter. I need a lot of these. And I need an up and an under. Okay. Okay. Then I need... Ooh, okay. I can still make that work. I can still make that work. Nobody panic. Panic is the enemy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this go up and over, <laughs> up and over, up and over, and grab from here. And up and over, and up and over, and then you grab from here. And it's making them! Oh, it's making them! Not this guy, though. I don't know why. Oh, because we don't have enough. Here we go. There we go. The circle of automation. And it moves us all. Getting to engine one. With the green science perks. I'm going to eat some pizza. In the sack. Oh gosh, I am out of coal. Shoot. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. What was I saying? In the sack. Oh. Okay. What kind of pizza? It's a buffalo chicken pizza with a blue cheese dressing that I can put on top. Oh gosh, things are breaking and I'm using this one handed. Oh. Um, um, what is happening? Who's dying? Oh gosh, I have no bullets. Oh no, I have no bullets. Where's the threat? Oh, it's destroyed. Oh good. I'm glad it's just that. Well, first off, I'm going to give you guys more bullets because you need them. Next, we're going to make you this. And then I'm going to see if I can get more of these bricks. Uh. Okay. Not bad. I need bricks to make a wall. I need five bricks to make a wall? Are you kidding me? <laughs> there. <laughs> Enjoy protection. Did I bake anything? I have not baked anything recently. Merryweather. Is it like a barbecue chicken deal? Uh, it's a buffalo chicken deal. It's great. Can't picture the cat baking. 
Yeah, baking without thumbs is a problem. Baking without thumbs would be the worst way to do things. Turns out it is. What are my baking specialties? I don't have baking specialties. I do like to make muffins occasionally. Muffins are like cupcakes for salty people like myself. <laughs> if you want a non-sweet cupcake, muffins are right for you. Let me tell you. Love me some muffins. I love blueberry muffins. Cat picky stream win. Ah, uh, maybe. There's a demand for it. All right, what broke? Oh no! Stop it! No! 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 I'm gonna beat him up manually. Get out of here! You suck. All right, I have to go down here and grab some more plates. Oh gosh, gonna make one of these, make more of these. I'm like out of plates, oh my gosh. Plate production needs to go like s faster, gosh. There are actually some uh, pretty awesome VTubers out there who do like baking, like cooking streams, baking streams and stuff. I do highly recommend them. I. I I, I say I highly recommend as if I can plug their channel as if I remember their channel's name. I'm very sorry. If by some miracle that VTuber is watching right now, I deeply apologize. I do not remember your name. But I remember seeing there was one VTuber who had like a like a green screen for everything but their hands. Oh, 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 oh. It's bad. Oh, stop it! Get away from my stuff! No! 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 I'm beating you with a stick because I can't do anything else! <laughs> I'm almost done, okay? I'm almost done! Why do you have to be so mean? Okay, this one is not dead. I can take the whole thing and migrate it. There we go. We're gonna move you here. We're actually gonna split your ammo with this guy. We're gonna make the most of what we got. Okay. Uh, I need to make this happen, so I need the advanced logistics stuff. Thankfully, this just runs. This now just runs. So... Only thing I'm looking for here right now is can I make this produce more? And the answer is, of course, yes. But the larger answer is, can I do it on time? The answer should also be yes. Okay. It's being damaged. Duh! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh gosh. Oh, I hate everything. Oh no, I only got two clips. All right, well you have fun. I'll get you more in a second. There we go. I should be making more plates now. I'm like emergency making ammunition here. Stop it! Owie! Take him out! Take him out, right hand man! Uh, goodness. Yeah, this isn't good. Okay. 
I'm gonna move you here. I'm gonna give you all of the bullets. I'm gonna try to protect you the best I know how. That's all I've got. Like I have to I have to keep keep the pace with everything else. Okay. I need more plates. Hopefully this makes more plates. Hopefully. Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, sorta. Of. <laughs> Is my kitchen good for like cooking or baking? I don't know. Is there a baking specific kitchen? Is there a cooking specific kitchen? Such distinctions are alien to me. Okay, you are not working anymore, which means I'm going to have to move you over here. Okay, not great, but we're making it. We're making the dream work. It can matter. I, I am not a home buddy. I'm not good at the at the domestic pursuits of cooking, cleaning and housekeeping. It is a, it's a foreign art to myself. I have practiced the dark arts, but not that art. That art is beyond my current skill set. And if your layout sucks, you'll notice. Hmm. Being small could be bad. Well, in many ways, I am small. I am not the smallest, but I am small at times. Compared to others, I am small. Uh, oh gosh. No, I heard it. Stop. What's being killed? Oh, you just managed to break through the wall. Okay. Well, let's reinforce the wall again. You only got two. Here's four. Here's too small to properly prep things. Yeah, I can see that. I've seen your abode before, Meriwether. It, I would agree with that. I hate everything! Stop it! Stop it! No! No! Stop eating everything! I hate you! Okay. There we go. That's working. Ah, oh, this is so bad. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this tutorial. I need more poles. Are you kidding me? There's another one. I'm about ready to just let them eat my base. Look, there they go. And they're just eating away at all my junk. I'm just going to end up dying. So this is the horrors I have to expect in the death world. But like times 10. Just this times 10. It's an absolute nightmare. Okay. 
Things are rocking. Things are rolling. Things are moving. Okay. Switch to satisfactory? No. What, what, why would you want to see satisfactory over factorio? That, that is a question. I shouldn't just say no for no reason. Eat me! I'll just leave that one behind. I'm gonna eat my pizza. Oh. Um, um. The satisfactory in factory are. There's no exploration in this. I mean, there is exploration in this, just not the same variety. Free play. Here it is. The death world. Because if you want to see an exploration game... Satisfactory is not a good exploration game. It really isn't. Like, once you've seen the map, you've seen it. Like, that's it. There's nothing new. And there's not even anything exciting in the map. There's objects you can collect that do not really help you much. And then there's occasional enemies that may try to kill you. Like, Satisfactory's exploration is just so bare bones. And so, like, not very good. I felt that too much right there. I, I felt that base destruction too much. All right, let's let's see if we can do this. Ooh. Cutscene. All right, can I take stuff from this? I can. Give me that whole thing. Give me all of this. Oh my gosh. Stop exploding. So. There should be a bunch of these guys all around. Actually, let me double check. Quick game. Because I can do a preview. Uh, free play. Enemy death world. Preview. So. This, this is a default map. And those little red things are enemies. This is Death World. So many more enemies. And they spawn more aggressively over time. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Now, there are some, like, good exploration games out there, though. But it really all kind of depends on, like, the first time experience. Most games that concern themselves, like, adventure games as well, have pretty good exploration. Like Spider-Man. <laughs> with that, with my weird uh, detour during the, the uh, Dark Souls game. Spider-Man's actually a really nice uh, exploration game. There's a lot of little nooks and crannies and things you can run around in. Okay, uh, there is a biter hive right about there. I need to make a little safe house of automation in the trees. If I can. Okay, so I need to start with one Abana inserter burner mining drill. Uh, and then I want to make another one, so I'm going to need nine. That's okay. Let's 
So we're going to do some manual kerchucking. Yeah, it's a cool game, but the map is finite. And it's an unchanging map. I'm pretty sure it's also like just one big map and you just choose different starting areas as well. Like, I like Satisfactory. Hell, I'd even play it if there's enough interest in it. But I'm not going to be exploring primarily. I'm going to be playing the game Satisfactory. As it as it is, you know. There we go. I'm going to do it that way. And then most of the automation stuff is going to be in this tree line for the minute. Okay. So the first thing I think I need to do is standard automation, and then I can get into military so I can survive. Building a satisfactory is cool. I have some reservations about some of it because uh, sometimes it clicks really well and it builds things exactly the way I want it to. Other times it just does not. I love the game to bits, but like it can be frustrating sometimes. It really can. Uh, five stone. Got it, got it, got it. He likes building and automating. Not a big fan of automation. I hate to say it, but if you're looking for a game that, like, uh, has automation and exploration, Factorio is probably your best bet. I mean, uh, not Factorio. Uh, Satisfactory is probably your best bet. Um, where is the stone? Oh, it's it's just south of the copper. Of course it is. If you're not big on automating, then don't play an automation style game like Satisfactory Factorio. You're not going to like them like at all. Because eventually all of these games, all of these like automation style games, you're going to run out of any and all exploration they have, and it's just going to be automating. Because that's the bulk of the gameplay. That's what, what they built it as. Nope. Nope. Why am I smelting stone? I don't need to smelt stone. And now I've lost the stone I needed to make the drill. Gosh darn it. Like, there are not some nice, like, automation and, like, programming games out there. Um, some things that are, like, base building. So if you're into base building, there's a couple of, of them out there. But, yeah. There we go. So that's going to feed on itself for the moment. And so I am going to instead move this and move this down. Played Minecraft and Perian and enjoyed those. Yeah. It really depends on, like, the style of game. Automation games typically don't have a lot of exploration, though. There are a few games out there similar to, like, Minecraft, Imperion, things like that. Um, trying to think if I know any off the top of my head other than what I've seen. Oh, I know one. Uh, Astroneer. Fantastic game. That's resource gathering, collection, crafting, whole nine yards. I highly recommend Astroneer. Fantastic game. So I'm scared to death that there's just going to be a biter around the corner. I'm just going to get murked. I do.
do need to automate stone production, I think, because I need to start making automated walls. So that's going to be a thing. All right. I have just enough burners to make this work for me. Give me a box. Okay. I need to get to electricity production. Oh gosh, the water is so far away. <laughs> no, no, no. He didn't play it when you bought it for him? Oh no. Astroneer is such a good game though. I'd play it Ast I'd play Astroneer, you know. I do kind of like playing it single player though. Mostly because like I like building my base my way. My big problem with Astroneer is like once you've unlocked everything, I just I run out of things to do. Like you can get to like the center of planets and stuff and explore all the planets. Eh. I'm more an achievement person. Get those like technology stacks going. That's why I like Factorio. It's very uh, tech tree driven. OK, I need to get to OK, this two boilers and I need a lot more plates. OK. Because I need to rush to solar later. OK, well, let's put some of these down while that's building out. Look at me go. I'm so tiny. Uh. Yeah, this will this will work. <laughs> And then this, and then this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's so far away. All right. This should work now. I should be able to make this good. And in turn, I should be able to make more of these. Oh, I need copper. Shoot. I need copper for that. OK, and then give me pipes. Ah, I need more pipes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Like, I, I need to make like a giant like, it's going to look like a giant schlong of automation. Just back and forth from that to protect it. Okay. This is all looking good so far. How's the map? Oh, they're not mounting an assault yet, so I think I'm good for now. I'm good for the moment. I've never tried a death world before, but color me curious when I realized it was something I could do. All right, I need two burner inserters. I feel like I have to whisper so like the biters don't hear me. I need two burner inserters. There we go. They can't find out that I'm here. I need to build automation to the point where they understand that I am a force to be reckoned with. They can't find me here. It would ruin the fun. OK, uh, I need a lot more of this. A lot more. Oh, I need copper too. Dosh, darn it. I need copper. Uh, OK, these are fine. Let's get rid of you. I got plenty of plenty of this for now. Oh, this is weird. Let's try this. OK. Not too bad. I need a lot of belts. And I'm going to need a few of these. 
Okay. Not bad. Gonna take out a lot of these little trees here. Just so I can get this nice little nook going. Okay. There we go. So then this goes up here, and then this will go up here. Oh man, the ominous music is so good right now. Okay, and this will automate my steel plate production. Okay, nice, nice. We're doing great so far, but we need to be careful. Rearm with a little bit more pistol ammo. We can't let them know we're here. There we go. Now I can have... We can have coal on this side with iron, and then copper on this side with coal. Okay. All going to Keikaku. Um, all according to Keikaku. Okay. Uh, this should be good. Oh, it's like impossible to like see what I'm doing here. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. And then I need like one of these guys over here to make me all that is stone production into bricks. Okay, we're getting copper plates. This is good. Okay. It's getting real hairy. You got this? You're going to keep quiet with me? Because I can't let them know we're here. Can't let them know we're here. Because if they do know we're here, it's going to jeopardize the whole mission. Here we go. Nice, quick, and clean, and quiet. Now, these inserters... I need to make a whole lot of iron. So we're going to do this this way and this way for now. Hi, bugs. Look, a cat man. Whirr. Oh, God. Be very, very quiet. Biters are hunting me. <laughs> gonna throw that in there okay in a lot of bricks very good stuff all right I need 31 
Can't let them find out. Nice and sneaky-like. We're gonna gently bring these over here. Gently. Gently. We're gonna hide in the trees. The biters won't find us in the trees. Hey, Scython, how's it going? I'm hiding in the trees. You're welcome to join me. The biters can't find us if we're hidden in the trees. That's honestly a thing I cannot confer. It's entirely possible they can see me in the trees. All right. Let's put this here. Put this here. Pretty good. Awesome. Do, do, do. There we go. And now they're here. Nice. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now is we're going to do this gradually. Right, so. Hiding has to be viable. <laughs> Please let it be viable. I'm going to bring the electricity all the way over. Like, steam power is not great, but. Mm. One power or item from DC or Marvel. Oh, I already know what that is. Um, You may be surprised because honestly, I am not the biggest fan of DC, but there's one thing in DC that I think is really awesome and I would love to have myself. And that is a Lantern Core uh, ring. So like Green Lantern, Blue Lantern, whatever. I don't care what color I'm from, so long as I get to have a Lantern ring of some kind. Preferably not like red, because that might kill me. <laughs> and I don't think I'm allowed in the Star Sapphires. I'm I'm kind of what they like to call cis male. I don't really think I jive with that that group of all women uh, members. But uh, yeah, I'd probably go for that, honestly. Like a like a Green Lantern ring is something I would totally be down for being like intergalactic police. OK, that's going to take a hot second. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. No, don't make a box. Stop. Stop making boxes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I've made a bunch of wooden boxes. Can I burn the wooden boxes? I certainly hope so. No, I want to use wooden chests as fuel. Maybe I can use it as walls. There you go. <laughs> Eat your heart out, biters. Okay. Let's get more of this. Yeah, depends on what part of the emotional spectrum I line to the most. Horn, uh, horn, will, willpower. <laughs> Husk has a Black Lantern win. Actually, yeah, honestly, I would probably fit well in the Black Lantern core. They seem a bit aggressive for my normal litchy tastes, but they certainly do feel like brothers and sisters, you know? With the normal kind of undead vibe. I'm sure they smell great. Like, that's the big thing. Other Lantern cores probably smell awful, but like Black Lanterns, mmm. Like, just the right kind of decay, like the floral bouquet of it all. Mmm. They're led by the Grim Reaper. Hey, I mean, if I can cheat death and the Reaper's my leader, I mean... Do I really have to say anything? Look, my my whole existence has been just 
make the most out of what little time I got left. Because I tried to cheat death. I tried to be a proper lich, but no. I had to ruin everything for myself. And now I'm a soulless husk. Make me upset. That's all it did. Don't trust $5 necromancers, kids. Nope, nope, nope. Trust a paid professional if you want to get proper necromancy done. Don't skimp out. I learned my lesson. All right. I need more belts. The schlong base is coming together, slowly, before I get hit by biters. Slowly but surely. Go, schlong base! Uh, there we go. What about Clintar? I have no idea what a Clintar is. Is that a kind of food? Can I eat a Clintar? Oh, we're almost there. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, yeah, they gotta be quiet. We're going back in the trees. Back with the trees. Okay. And we're moving on. 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 Dun, 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 and. and we're moving on. And we're moving on. And we're moving on. Going back into the trees. Clintara symbiotes. Oh, I love the symbiotes. Like maybe that's just it. Maybe my the what I yearn for in a superpower is a sense of belonging. Pick your venom suit. I mean, I, I love my standard venom symbiote, you know, just the like black with a purple sheen. Big, muscular, hot as hell. Like who wouldn't want to be venom? I mean, seriously, I mean, the, he eats people. That's kind of a bad thing, you know, <laughs> that's that's kind of a bad thing. He eats people, but I mean, put that aside. Like, you can't go wrong with Venom. I mean, you may have like a secondary consciousness in your head. Kind of a big deal. Eh. Oh, no, it's begun. Don't no, no, get through the trees. They're hitting my stuff. Stop it. No, be gone. OK, we're just going to leave that at that. <laughs> uh, I will protect you with boxes. <laughs> I have no other choice. All right, they're getting so close to just ruining my day. Venom 2018 is the best. It's interesting because, like, I never went out to go and see that Venom movie. I don't have any particular hate for it. It's just... I don't know. I just can't picture Venom without Spider-Man, you know? It's like... It's like you're like, oh, we're, we're the Green Lantern Corps. We don't wear rings. Like, what? <laughs> what do you mean you don't wear rings? No, we just project our will through through osmosis. It's like, <laughs> no, like Venom and Spider-Man are such intricately tied characters that like, I can't explain one without the other. Like they, they can easily be like unlinked in many ways, but eh, meh. So if it was Marvel, it'd probably be a symbiote. If it was DC, I'd want a lantern ring. Plus, the entry for lantern rings is actually not too big. Like, 
You need to have the proper emotion in spades for that ring, and then a, a Green Lantern needs to die. Like, and they need to choose you among any other candidate on your planet at that given moment. Like, it's just now sounding like a job interview. <laughs> Movie is still awesome. I don't doubt it. I really don't. There are a lot of folks who really do like the movie. All right, let's throw half in here and let's just try this out. Hopefully this just works. Um, I need copper. They could still forge more rings. I mean, I don't want to talk about like the possibility of ring inflation in the in the DC comic world. I don't really know if that's a that's even a concept for them. But um There we go. Have you reached it? Have you reached it? Oh, almost there. Come on, I just, I need that spark. That single spark to get us into the electric age. Come on. Come on. Bring me to light in the death world. Sound the alarms. Sound the beacons. I don't quite have the the gas 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 one because I'm I'm a little afraid of like getting copyright struck for certain things, but I do have this one. We can do this one. I can do that. <laughs> Hope that's good enough compensation for now. Gondor calls for hate. All right, we are automating, ladies and gents. It's slow moving, but we're getting there. Okay, I need more of this, please. Oh, you add a fuel. Come on, man. Get grooving, get moving. Can't do this all day, man. No, it's the one you're thinking of. Okay. <laughs> I I just I labeled it on my on my stream deck as simply speed. <laughs> just initiate speed. All right, um, I'm going to grab this guy. Because I got a lot of bricks going, which is good. And I'm going to put him here. So this one's going to go to the, the electric generator. And this one's going to come down to us. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it down into like a, a thing right here. And then that's. That's just going to house all of our coal for now. All right, that's good. That's good. Because hopefully I just have to leave that alone up there, making making us some power, and that's it. And grab some coal. Make this run again. Run 
gonna again. Ready two hours in. Come on. Like, I'm I am terrified of the biters coming around to find me. Like, I live in fear of the ankle biters. <laughs> They are going to find me and I'm going to die. And I am I am terrified of this prospect. Look. Anything but these around would be great to have right now. <laughs> like I'm at my wit's end. Like this is scary as hell. I don't wanna be here. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright. Let's get more of these going. Okay, we're almost there. I need three more plates. Okay. Awesome. Give me this. Oh, two more plates. Oh, one more plate. There we go. Okay. Now, now we can get a little burner inserter in there. And now this can ferry all of the coal right in the box until we have something better ankle biters just the biters these guys right here they're gonna come and take my giblets all right so now what i need to do is i need to build an electric mining drill i need two of them so i can get copper and the iron plates. Oh man, come on. Got 10 iron plates. I need 23. Just keep an eye out. Just uh, sit comfortably outside. Outside of the base. Taking in the fresh air. Ah, can you feel it, wandering souls? It's the smell of industrial revolution flowing through your veins. Manifest destiny over the natives. The soulless hawks have giblets? The cat certainly does. <laughs> My flesh is limited. Okay. We've got one of these down. This is good. And so I'm going to need to put this guy like over here. And this guy over here. There we go. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Cankle biters. Oh no, not my cankles. No, <laughs> not my giblets, not my cankles. Bleach my eyes and put Carolina Reapers on your privates. Well, both things I would not prefer. Although Carolina Reapers on your privates might be a very interesting experience. Not saying I'm interested, but I am saying I am sickened, but curious. Because I I would rather have my eyes be in, in tip top shape. I can I can let my dingly bits go through go through the ringer. If it was that or my eyes. Like my eyes, and my ears, and my tongue, I would prefer to have all in one one piece. The rest, I think I could probably get by with a little bit of TLC later on. Because I'm being put through a binary choice system. I have 
I have no choice. There we go. Before I can get that in, I'm just going to do this and feed it in like this. Okay. The tiniest, tiniest bit of automation is happening right now. Wandering souls. You're here. You get to see it. And now you need to help me. Once I get this built out, I need to know what I need to build next. I'm going to get two like electric drills up there and one down here. After that, I don't quite know what to build next. Like, I can't survive without you guys. You guys got to tell me what to do. We went through the tutorial mostly together. You saw the chaos that was me trying to fix all this. What do I do? I'm scared and alone. I'm going to cry and poop my pants. I can't survive out in this wilderness. I am not an outdoorsy type. Pollen will kill me. And so will the biters. There we go. Uh, I need more. Uh, I need more. There we go. There we go. I don't know where to go or what to do or what to build. I'm scared and stuck in the trees. <laughs> I'm stuck in the tweez. You need to help me. I'm just a poor Will Husky. I'm stuck in the tweez. I'm just a poor Will Husky stuck in the tweez. <laughs> Is build weapon an option? Let's do that. Build weapon. Um, you know what? Let's change this to military. I need research to build a new weapon. So you're saying I should do some more research to get to military? I can do that. Yeah, time for turret spam. I think I can do that. It's a star for sure. Hey, more than enough for me. All right, so I need to build this one research lab. I can't let them find me. If I die wandering souls, that's it. I'm done for. All right, let's see. Oh. Oh no, my chicken! <laughs> oh, oh. Hostile problems require hostile solutions. You got it, dude. Okay.
I'm gonna feed it with some science packs because I can't automate yet. People die when they're killed. I'm just gonna manually feed this in and it should be good to go. This is my little base. Out in the woods. Out in the woods. And all I can really do is make more firearms. Oh! Wandering Soul, should I be making light armor? Is light armor a thing I should invest in? It's from, it's from my body. I don't know if it's a worthwhile investment or not. If you like living, I do like living. Let's make one of these. All right. I am wearing armor, light armor now. And once these packs are done, I should have military one. So there's a base over there. It's got a, a worm turret. It's got one, two, three, four worm turrets. It's got several biters and two ba three bases. That's the biggest scare I've seen here. Okay, it's almost done. Getting nervous. Oh, okay. I have researched military. I can now do a submachine gun, a shotgun, and shotgun shells. I have a choice between automation, optics, which gives me the lamps, gun turret, stone walls, logistics which gives me the turrets, I mean, the splitters for your conveyor belts. Steel processing, which gives me steel chests and steel plates. Logistics pack, which gives me green science. Weapon shooting speed. And physical projectile damage one, which increases the damage of everything. What should I be researching next? If I'm to survive, I need to choose my next set of research things carefully. And once I choose my research, what should I be building next? Hmm. It's a tough call. Should I be building lamps? Lamps? It's fun lights. I like lights. Or maybe walls? Walls sound fun. If I get walls, I can eventually get refined flammables. <laughs> Several hours into gameplay. Oh, I do want to get to flamethrower, though. Oh, military science. What do I need for that? Military 2. Just needs steel and green science. Mmm. Mmm. Well, we were talking about turrets, Bam. We should go and look up turrets.
Walls for sure. Okay. Let's start walls. Because I got a boatload of bricks. All right, now what do I do? I could build new weapons. I could build ammo. I could ex automate my science. I can expand my plate production. I can do a lot of things, but I don't know what to do. Mm. I'm going to protect these with the old burner turret burner. Uh, the old burner mining drills. I'm going to protect it with mining drills. It'll be great. Now I'm going to protect this with wooden boxes. I think I should probably take another submachine gun. Recycling. Let's make some more ammo. Here comes walls. All right. So walls are done. I guess I should do turrets next. Maybe. Who knows? I've never done this challenge before. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't. But I can make walls now. Make all the walls. I can only make 16 walls with as many pieces of stone I had. Oh, I don't have any more stone. I can build walls pretty much anywhere. Yeah. I need more stone. Okay. Well, if I need more stone, I should make another drill. Which means this drill is going to be in more danger. Maybe I'll move the boxes there. <laughs> gonna do is I'm gonna put down the boxes for now. Let's put actual wall pieces. Just in case. <laughs> That's all the walls I own. All right. With this, I should be able to get more stone. Actually. We're just going to put the stone in a box. Ooh, my research is done. Now what am I going to do? 
I've gun turrets. Um, hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I could do lamps. Lamps. Or automation. I think I'll do automation. Just, it's 10. I can get out of the way right now. All right, now that I can make a turret, I should start building turrets. Well, my plate production's so slow. Got to spam out that ammo. I can't make ammo and stuff like that with play production this slow. I'm a sitting duck. I just managed to get one turret going. go. Perfect. You sit right there. Make sure nothing dies. All right. I got a turret in place. It should protect this wide area. Should. If they cut through the trees, I'm dead. But that's okay. Hmm. You think I should expand my plate production? Or maybe I can start automating the science production. Or I can make more turrets and walls and ammo. But it's gonna be slow going with slow plates. Let's do physical damage. No, these are a hundred. I don't have a hundred. More plates for more ammo. Okay. Let's do logistics. That way I can get everything under here. I'm going to move this out of the way. Let's make a few more of these. This should work. This way, this way. Uh, need more of this. This way, this way. This way. This way. This way, this way. 
This way. And... Oh, I'm out. This way. So ominous sounding, oh my gosh. It's like, are you sure you want to build more plate production? Are you sure? Maybe you need to reconsider. Okay. All of these need coal, which I can amply provide. There we go. I remember the keybinds. Ah! Be gone! They found me. But why? I was in the trees. How did they find me in the trees? I need another turret. Really bad. Uh... I also need another one of these. Which I can provide. Boom. So dramatic. Forgot how dramatic the music was in this. Oh! Good job, turret. You're the best turret. Who's a good turret? All right. Uh, I need another turret. I don't have enough for another turret. Let's see how this is doing. Okay, it's it, it's it's a lot more production than than my my current my current setup can handle. That's okay. It's not a bad thing. It just means it scales. It just means it scales. That's all it does. It's all it means. It means it scales. Just like this. Place that here. Place all that there. And Bob's your uncle. We got ourselves another turret. Boom. Like magic. Oh, I need to make more <laughs> science packs. Oops. Like features and structural geology. Hey, you tell me, man. You tell me. All right. Uh. Now what? Oh, it scales. Oh, neat. That's fair. I suppose that does make sense. I am able to make more wall. Itty bitty wall. Eventually, I'm going to wall this whole area off. And it's going to be like a big old schlonger thing. 
Or like a gun. It almost looks like a gun right now. I just need to be afraid. If they start taking out that section right there, I'm toast. I am toasty. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoopsie. Didn't mean to do that. All right. And it grows. Isn't every gun a schlong, though? I mean... Husk with a gun-shaped map feature? Indeed. Aren't all guns just a large... tribute to male genitalia? All right, things are looking good. Things are looking pretty good. Not the best, but pretty good. Tooltip red. Okay, now what do I do? Oh, what I do need to do is take a break in a second. It will it will pause the full game. Okay. Do 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 do. As soon as logistics is done researching, I need to take a break. Build a boba shop? I could, hmm, not quite a boba shop, but I could build something that makes me happy like a boba shop. Wow. Oh, no. one thing I'd like to build is some of these laser turrets but that's not until a lot later on I might be able to get oil faster than that speaking of which where is oil oil where are you oil I don't see any darn it Darn it, darn it, darn it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, if if I can get oil, then I can make flamethrowers, then I'm pretty much set. Because all the iron resources are, like, dwindling over time. That's the big scary part about it. For some reason, oil is not a limited resource in this game. Boba equals laser turrets. As much as I want laser turrets, it's not going to be for a while. Because laser turrets are all the way over here. I need four types of research for that. I need blue research. Jeez. Jeez and crackers, my guy. That's like so much. Like, I don't know what's the next best because like I can do standard military. I can get to military research, which would be good.
And once logistics is done, we're gonna go on a break. Because I'm feeling safer. Not safe, but safer. I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I was going to. Oh, they're mounting an attack. Oh, you can see it right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. The climax of before the break. If I survive this and you happen to have not liked this particular stream, feel free to give it a like to know that you're supporting me and I, I appreciate and I acknowledge your efforts. I raised a paw. It didn't show up. Uh, I think we're gonna have to unlock green science because we need to. Here we go. Yeah. <gasps> we did it. We defended against the wave. Oh my gosh. This is so good. The problem is, is that, well, this is a local threat and it is pretty bad. Everyone else is mounting bigger and bigger offenses the longer we wait. Which is like insane. But anyway, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to build a bunch of science packs. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. I did it. I'm gonna do a lot of this by hand. Because I think we gotta get to some pretty high military in order to actually take these guys out. I might. I'll build a shotgun. With all this set up, we're going to pause. We're going to take a quick break. Let's see. We've been going on for a while. Might as well get a break done before we wrap up stream for today. I do have a class I got to teach tomorrow. Ugh. So roughly about a 15 minute break. If you need to step out, please step out. But please come back by the time the break is done with more of our solace survival. We're gonna try and build. We're gonna try and automate and these biters are not gonna get in our way, okay? I'll see you in a bit.
apologies for the delay. We have returned. Here we are. Hope all you wondering souls are doing all right. Oh, you finally made it! How's it going, hot garbage? We are trying to survive a biter apocalypse of epic proportions. All right, I am apparently making logistics packs out the wazoo. My life for logistic packs. My gosh. There's so many. I'm thinking, because by the time I get to those shotgun shells, I might save and try and take out that hive. If we can do that, we can buy us some time. But there's no guarantee of success, so I'll need to retreat back to this. If it doesn't work out. Because there's multiple of these small worms and they pop out like turrets. So I need to start smacking those turrets after I pull back to mine. But I think it's possible. All things are possible at this point. I'm ready. Don't you dare mount an offense against me. I'll be ready. Also, you'll notice that uh, I'm trying a new filter on on the cat. When I pause the game and I unpause, you'll notice that the color uh, reflects what's going on in the game. So that will be useful when we get to the watch along. Because I'm going to see if I can set it to reflect what I'm watching without actually having you guys see what I'm watching. So it look a little bit more cinematic, you know? <laughs> All right. Let's put all of that in there. A few more packs and logic pack. Logic science pack should be ready to go. I think I should actually start building a radar up here with a turret. And the reason I'm thinking about that is because I want better coverage so I can see more. Ah, uh, but it's so lovely here in the factory. The moonlight glow of my science facility. And the warm hearth of all of my furnaces. Tonight is a special night. Because if the biters eat me, I'm probably going to perish. Man, these science packs take forever to make by hand. Let's see, one, two, three, four, four more rounds of this. Just having fun with my little conveyor belt rides. 
I also realized I didn't move any of my clothes to the dryer. They've been sitting there for for a minute. <laughs> I feel bad. They need to start drying in the next few hours, or otherwise I feel like they're going to get moldy and musky. Yeah. <laughs> Pour out a cold one for all of my laundry. <laughs> all right. Because I'm thinking I'm going to set up a perimeter up here so that I can defend this coal production and put the focus away from the actual... Oh, here they come! And the actual biters in the area. Whew. Okay. Nice. Their troops are going to be a little weak after that. Let's see if I can bait some more. Hey, buddies. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> All right, so I have a new gun coming up. So I got the good old shotty shot. Here's how this looks. Let's give it a shot, literally. It's not bad. Nice. And now that that's done, uh, I don't know. Optics doesn't do, do much until I get to solar energy. Uh, iron, is that necessary for anything? It is for military too, so I should keep that on there. The armor is helping. It was a very good suggestion to make. Unfortunately, the shotgun works like a video game shotgun, where it turns into, like, marshmallows at, like long range All right, here we go. I think what I can do is I can drop a turret down right around here, and I think I'll be fine. So I can retreat back here. Oh gosh, come on. I gotta be careful because this thing slows me down. I got one down. I got one of the turrets down. Okay, this is good. Yep. 
There we go. I used to do this back when I first played Factorio, of like a ever encroaching turret tide. It should still work, in theory. Oh, there we go. One hive down. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. So let's put all of this away. Let's put this down and repair it. There we go. That was not too bad. Good f first few attacks onto the biter nest. All right, so I have this here. That should help me there. And then if I make another one of these and a number of these. The little wall. Oh, gosh. There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, a little too soon. Uh, I need a repair pack. And then this one here. Goodness gracious. There we go. Things are looking up. Very cool. Except I'm not automating anything anymore. Like, none of my science is automated yet. This can't be good. Oh, no. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, I can do the splitter. Yes. Give me this. I don't need you anymore. Here, become a wall. This thing is just looking for even more than what I've got, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, nicely job. 
Nicely jobbed, turret. <laughs> Nicely done, turret. Good job. Nicely jobbed, turret. Well jobbed. Uh... Okay, good and good. There we go. Now we got a full working circuit. Let's make another one of these. Make a few more. Everybody gets more iron. It's good for the bones. All right. There we go, protect me. Nice. It, it will be manufacturing oppression as I go along, so you're not wrong. You are not wrong there. Ooh, I never noticed the little popping noises. go. I have all the copper production in the world that I could ever need, and I've got all the iron production in the world I could ever need. It's time to go and make ourselves a more automated lifestyle. <sighs> well, almost. We're not quite there. We need better defenses. We do need to move out of this tree line eventually. Oh, uh, this should be good. Let's see how how close is aggro. Ah! Uh, help me. There we go. Okay, well, I can get pretty close. Very cool. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh gosh! Oh no! I am so weak. Medic. Medic. Oh look, they're they're mounted an offensive up there, huh? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, didn't think so. Didn't think so. Still not strong enough to take on that biter nest. I'm getting closer. I'm getting better. Ooh! The northern turrets are doing work. This is good. Mostly because I think we're we're starting to expand the map a bit. Ooh, we got a biter nest down there as well. Gotta be careful. The Southern Reach will destroy us if we are not careful. I think it's about time to actually, like, start making a bus and making this work, I think. So what am I gonna need? I'm gonna need a lot of assemblers. I can make one. <laughs> Congrats. I can make one. Okay. Just keep making assembly machines until your brain rots. That's where I'm at right now. These guys are going to come after me and just wreck me. I know it. Let's see if I can plan things out over here. So what I think I'll do is I'll make I'll make this here the smelting area. And that creates the bus that goes over here. And then right here, we're going to do our first round of automation. No, sorry, not here. Yeah, right. So it's going to be all throughout here. And then like right here is going to be gun production. We're going to have at least one thing dedicated to just bullets, just endless bullets. And <laughs> we're going to have a little thing right here for walls, just walls. And then over here, we're going to make red. And over here, Uh, a little help here, game. Thank you. And over here, we're going to make green. And then research is going to be right uh, here. So we need to perimeter this whole thing. So that's going to be a mess to get done, but it can be done. Actually, let me just do this. I have a dream of a death world fortress. Impregnable. Unstoppable. Modern man cannot best it. But production is slow. Okay, good job, turret. Good job. Good job, high five. High five, turret. Hold on, hold on. It needs to go up. It needs to connect here. It needs to go over, and then it needs to head down here. So it's like boom, 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 boom. This whole big box. And then I need to create a perimeter here. So it's just a lot of stonework I'm going to need. 
So for now, honestly, I don't even need that that many like pieces of metal. I do for like all these conveyors I'm going to need. These hundreds of thousands of conveyor belts I'm going to use. Because eventually I'm just going to be making conveyor belts just as is. So I think I'm going to do so I'm going to siphon this line completely. And do that. There we go. So now we're just going to have stone just rolling on in. Just stone rolling on in like crazy. Just give me everything you got. There we go. Now that that's being done, I'm going to have stone slowly being built out here, which is what I want. There we go. And that's going to help with wall production. So we're going to have all of this and then I can just do this. Done. Walls. So what I want to do is start figuring out what I need to do to get all of this settled. First things first is I need to build out where this wall needs to go. What do you think, Wandering Souls? Nice little fortress to defend against the tide. Ooh, the music's getting good, nice. Only enough for three more walls. That's okay. Oh no! No! My production! No, my power! No, my power! Stop it! Don't kill the- don't kill the thing that's expensive! Oh. All right. Well, most of this is fixable. Uh, let's see. I need a pump, two boilers, and some pipes. There we go. A pump, two boilers, and some pipe. And then I had two burner inserters. Nice. Uh, do I have enough for... Let's build one of these right quick. Train the biters to be our friends. I wish everything could be solved by the magic of friendship, but this is not the case. There we go. I do need to build it all the way out here, but I think I can probably just make it a narrow band up until then. See, stop it. Look at this. Look at this madness it's trying to do. Oh, these are fully grown biters. They hit hard. Ouchies. Goodness, where are they coming from? 
They're coming from down here, I bet you. They planned for that assault. Oh, no! My walls! One turret engaged with enemy. Oh, no. Are we good? Are you fine? Are we happy? Are we clean? Are we easy, breezy, and beautiful? What's happening? Rule them with an iron fist. I mean, that's kind of the goal. I will stem the tides. All right, so I know what I want to do. So I guess I should just set it up as such. Let's move this over here. Let's revamp the entirety. Of my of my builds here. Because if I can automate, I should automate. So we're just gonna get rid of all of this. Get rid of all of this. Oh, this would be so much easier if I could automate destruction, but I can't yet. Trying to get this whole refactoring. Up I go, up I go, and refactor the whole thing. Okay. So I want to get this thing all set up here. I want to do a coal bus center line with two full ore lines, I think. So to do that, I need to plan that out. Okay. So I need a coal center line and I need an iron line and a copper line. And then after that, I'm going to have these guys, which is going to pump out to here. And that's that. Beautiful. Okay. I need a bunch of these. Perfect. And then this is going to be here. Which means I can get rid of all this. Oh, this is going to be good. Wandering Souls, can you figure out what, I, what I'm up to? What I'm trying to do? I'm going to save us all. The power. The power of automation. You just wait and see. It's gonna happen. So, coal needs to go through here first. Coal needs to go through here first.
Okay, and then I need a few of these. Because we're going to cut right through here. Yes, manufacturing oppression at its finest. This goes up here. All right. Let's merge this into one. Split this. There we go. So we always have something going on. And then I need this, I need the copper line to go up. So nice. This is gonna be so nice and clean. So nice and clean. Oh my gosh. Can't wait. Big problem is that I only got the one copper line. Uh we can make two. There we go, and move this here. <laughs> However, twice as fast. Indeed, it will be manufacturing oppression at double speed. Okay, here's the big problem. This needs to be like this. I need to have one every other one anyway. So that means I need to... to make a number of these work because I don't have the proper electric poles yet. There we go. It's still producing power? Good. <laughs> I was a little worried if it wasn't producing power. Alright. This is looking good. Okay.
There we go. There we go. Yes. All according to plan. Yes. Automate my machines. Automate. Oh, it needs power. All right, power restored. And let's get that second drill up in here. Yes, the glory of automation. Indeed. Tis glorious. I was about to say, copper is not producing nearly as fast as it should be. Ooh, we are not producing power nearly as much as we should be. <laughs> we watch the Jurassic series? Uh, I've seen a bit of the Jurassic series of movies before. I have seen some of them. But I unfortunately can't say that I've watched, like, any of them extensively. Why, are you a fan of the newer, the newer Jurassic series? Or the Jurassic World now? Some people are a fan. Yeah, I gotta defend that power, man. I really do. Okay, these definitely need more. This will be fine. I'm gonna do unwalled protection. Well, actually, slightly walled protection. <laughs> and I think we'll be fine for the moment. I keep thinking, wow, I'm... I'm surviving pretty long with just this measly setup. No, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before everything falls apart. There we go. The originals are very impressive, just technologically for me. Like they, they are, they are a feat in filmmaking. That's one thing I'll always clo hold close to. It's like they are a feat of filmmaking, indeed. Come on. A little faster now, because things are engaging with enemies. I'm getting worried. Okay. These seem to be going well. This all seems to be going well. I'll need... These two. So then now, now that I've got this, uh oh, pipe was being damaged. Okay, well, looks like everything's fine for now. Just how they didn't notice the T-Rex. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe that thing snuck up on them. Aren't, aren't like dinosaurs supposed to be descended off of birds? Maybe just did a bird sneak. Sneak bird. Sneaky bird. Bird sneaking. Power bird. I love a little squeaking. Eek, 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 eek. 
so what this is going to do is we're going to do this. I think I'm going to make it four wide each way. We're going to do four wide each way. There we go. Now. When I make a number of these happen. It is a four ton reptile. I don't know. You tell me how that happens. Clearly a T-Rex has been trained in the art of stealth. So what this is going to do is it's going to spread all of my main line of these two pieces that I need for most things evenly across the board. I don't think I really need four, but I'm going to try four and see if it's good. All right. There we go. So my goal is to have Red B South. So we're going to chop some trees. And all of these come across. All these come across and then from right down here actually I can go up because it it doesn't matter I can just go up so yeah we'll just do that <laughs> we'll go up so what I need is I need red automation here, which I can get done because it only takes one other manufactured resource. How many does it need? It only takes one. Okay. So I'm going to need to have this here, each of them individually for these. I'm going to see how this turns out. And these are all going to try and make red. So I need a branch. I need one of these to branch off. So how am I going to do that? Okay, what is being killed? Stop. Stop. Okay, well, that turret's gone. That's not good. We keep going. We don't worry about that. We keep going.
Okay, I need one of these to go up. That can be done. Problem is I also need one of these to go up. There we go. There we go. And now, now I have the ability to get more. So this is basically how Factorio typically works. Except, I'm trying not to die every second of the way. I'm scared to death I'm gonna lose this game at any second because of this. These guys need to come here. There we go. Great. Now I just need to move these the other side. Now all I need to do is figure out where these guys need to go. Which is usually just, I don't know, somewhere else. <laughs> In this case, I think I'm just going to keep these here. I'm going to see what happens. Yeah, so far, so good. Can't say for certain, Scython. Haven't really watched the movies that closely. All right, so if I'm here, I'm just going to do this for now. And we're just gonna, we're gonna live, live life this way. <laughs> we're gonna do it like this, we're gonna live life this way. Okay. So now, all of these continue to work as normal, as expected, as promised. Honestly, I don't even need to split it in this many branches, do I? Ah, eh, I'll keep it this way for now. Until it becomes obsolete. Goodbye, trees. I'm not the Lorax I kill for the trees. They protected me once, now they are a barrier. So what I can do here, is I can make the second type of...
science right here. Which in this case is green. So to make green, I need to make multiple things. So green is made up of two compounded ones, which is both the conveyor belt and the inserter. Conveyor belt needs one more missing piece. And this needs two. They share this, so I think... I think I can make it work. Oh, come on. Please survive. Just hang on there, buddy. Hang on. Why aren't you going up there and destroying that thing? Come on. Make my life easier. No! Stop it. Stop it. Ugh. Where's my repair pack? There we go. Please just keep everything alive. I just started. All right. Um, uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Uh, I need to... I think I just need to focus on... Okay. That many. And then all of these are going to service... Like, a, a plethora of... Of different machines. Like, all over the place. Just out of this world. So many machines. Right. So. This is going to help both. What do you call it? The conveyor belts and the inserter builders. So that's conveyor belt. And then I have inserter I can do here, right? Hmm. Because then I would need plates, and then I need plates here too. Okay, okay. The gears are turning. The gears are turning. So this can be an iron plate kind of overall bus that I can use. So I can do this, this, and this. So let's make this easy and just rip right from the side here. Uh, like this, maybe? And then I think I do one more. Hmm. 
Okay, so this makes gears. Okay, this is good. So that means I can do this, make conveyor belts. Uh, conveyor belt, conveyor belt. There we go. Conveyor belt. Uh, and then where do I go from here? <sighs> I don't know. I'm just in the background just making all the red science I can. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. This is working. That works the way I need it to. My problem. This requires three items. I get the first two from here, and then the next two need to come from somewhere else. So it needs to have an output, and it needs to have an input. Okay. Okay. Is this going to work? I hear you. Stop it. Stop. What you're doing is wrong. Stop. I was like, can I make you another friend? A friend that defends? Defend friend? Please. Please and thank you. Like, you are trying to do full mitochondria, full powerhouse of the cell. And I think you're just, you're not doing well. There we go. Have fun. Now you got a buddy. Okay. And this thing needs to make this, which also needs steel plates. Oh, it needs steel plates. And it needs copper coil. Ah! <laughs> It just sounds so ominous the whole time. It's like, it's like, yeah, I'm losing my mind over here. There we go. The ominous music builds. All right. And then I need the combiner over here so I can evenly distribute. There we go. Okay, so. No, no. Stop, 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 stop. No, no. Ah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is bad, 
It's bad. There's all kinds of bad. Oh, this is all kinds of bad. Oh, it's all kinds of bad. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that was something. What if I re- Okay. Oh, okay. We're all the way back here. Well... <laughs> I'll admit... Shivers ran up my spine. This is what I mean. Why it was a death world. And I have died. But... We are pretty much out of time for today's for today's stream oh man well i know it's been a bit of logistical mayhem of putting things together if you enjoyed watching me do things and also were interested in coming up with cool patterns for things in this game feel free to put that down in the comments that you're interested in seeing more <sighs> that was stressful like, the entire time, as I'm building up all of this stuff, I'm like, it's only a matter of time. It's happening. It's in the background. I'm, pre I'm not prepared. I am not prepared. So, we'll see. If folks want to see more of that for the next uh, Solo Survival, we can do that. Otherwise, we can even pivot to do another game if uh, folks want to see something else. Uh, I'm welcome to try any and all games that you guys have as a suggestion. But yeah, we're cresting into the end of stream for today. Uh, as a reminder, Huskwith, eh, sorry, no. As a reminder, uh, Road to Elden Ring this Friday, more Dark Souls. Uh, we are going to go window shopping in Analondo, uh, popping into windows and uh, maybe getting closer and closer to Ornstein Smoke. Maybe we'll be able to get to that boss fight. That'll be neat. Uh, Analondo is one of, and Orlando is one of my favorite places in Dark Souls 1. So I'm excited to be there. I think, uh, what is it? Uh, Seth's like library is one of the coolest looking places to me, but that's just, I mean, Seath, not Seth. Seath's for Seth's fortress we just went through. Uh, Seath's kind of like library is really neat. Will there be more Onion Knight? I hope so. I don't think I've ever completed Onion Knight's quest, but hopefully we'll see more of him soon. Um, I think we'll even be able to see his daughter soon if we play our cards right. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, yeah. I don't know where he shows up next. He might show up at the Demon Ruins, so we might need to go there eventually. Um, but who knows? Well, we'll see who we find. We might even see Solaire again, as possible. So that'll be neat. Uh, lots of like white knights and black knights there too. It's crazy. Uh, once again, more solo survival. We're just going to have some fun with Factorio. You know, shoot the breeze while the death world is trying to kill me. So if you just want to hang out, say hi, chat with me. It's going to be more of the same of, of today with me mildly panicking in the background. And then, of course, more Road to Elden Ring, getting through more Dark Souls that following Friday. Uh, after solo survival series is done, I'm going to have one last uh, big... Uh, stream coming up which is going to be uh, googly eyes looking at everything everywhere all at once we're going to watch everything everywhere all at once uh, which is going to be a fun movie I'm really excited to see it I've been waiting to see it for some time so hope to see you then uh, pick up a copy of the movie before you uh, stop by it'll make your life so much easier and uh, you'll probably have a lot more to look at than just seeing me go <gasps> the whole time <laughs> but yeah that's been today for today <laughs> uh tomorrow is going to be another short coming out i just had two shorts launched this week if you're interested in shorts please check them out look forward to more videos to come i'm trying to focus more on uh pre-recorded let's plays coming up and see if that brings any more attention to the channel uh because things that i've noticed a lot of folks who are subscribed watch the uh, streams and I thank you all for that and the VODs if you made it to the end thank you very much but a lot of folks tend to watch the streams if they're already subscribed so to reach out to the larger broader wandering souls to get them interested in watching the streams and the VODs I'm gonna be making some more diverse content to bring folks in and see how that turns out uh, it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be a ride so I'm glad you're all here to join me for that and who knows 
I know people are so married to the cat. Who knows, maybe I'll Russian roulette it, see what else is free in this grab bag of husk goodies I have available to me. <laughs> but um, in lieu of that, once again, more information to come probably July, mid-July, on bringing Solus Husk to life. So that'll be interesting to see as time progresses. But that's all I got for you. Thank you all so much for attending today's stream or watching it on the VOD. If you liked today's stream, feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. That's fine. Um, and please leave a comment on anything that you uh, were interested in, things you want to see for Sola Survival, Factorio, or otherwise, and any comments you have on the channel, feel free to put that down below. If you haven't subscribed and my content's the kind of thing you'd like to see more of, feel free to subscribe. You've all been fantastic. Thank you so much and have a wonderful night. See you later. Bye.